Greetings, everyone. And welcome to the 2017-2018 Head Start Celebration Ceremony. We are really excited that you're here with us tonight and to help us celebrate this special occasion. I would like to introduce uh, to you our honored attendees who are here with us tonight. Uh, they are here up on the stage, Anna Little Ghost, President Lindquist, Tracy Charbonneau, Darcy DeLorme, and our director, uh, Carrie Thompson Widmer. My name is Valerie Bosky, and I am part of the administrative team here at Head Start. Quickly, on the behalf of the administrative staff and our director, Carrie Thompson Widmer, we would like to thank the classroom staff, the kitchen staff, and the transportation staff for their dedication to the program and to the children. This year was full of new surprises and interesting changes. Thanks to their dedication and determination and the love for the children, we've had another successful year. Our sincerest thanks to all who worked hard to help our students transition onto the next level of their educational career. We have enjoyed watching the kids learn and grow throughout our time with them. It is a wonderful journey and we are very blessed to have been part of their lives. Additionally, we want to thank President Lindquist for her support and encouragement. Her love for the community, the families, and the Dakota traditions are evident within the program. Last but not least, a big thank you to Paul Keating, Terry Poitra, and Melody Voke for their assistance in the pictures, the live streaming, and the audiovisual. Without further ado, please welcome Anna Little Ghost. She will begin our celebration with an opening prayer. Hello, can you hear me? Before I say a prayer, I want, I got a little something written down for you for, uh, to read to you this evening. The elders, the elders say we should pray to the east every morning. Just try it. Get up early in the morning, watch the sun and listen to the birds. The, the winds, smell the air, feel the breeze, and the warmth of the sun. Your mind will expand, and you will experience oneness with the Great Spirit. You will realize who is really in charge. You will realize how the Creator loves you. Just try it. Tokashla inamaka Topakenakapi <laughs> Unkanka umpi, Kokoshkala can we Koshkalaka, Puxina no chinchana, Babenaki hena, she chakula beata gashla, Nanahaki chatopolas naki hena, go, she chakula beata gashla, Minimaha no umpi, kihena, she chakula beer, Hopa ho koza be kihena, she chakula beer, Noama Kashka, Inamaka, Machbea, and Inamaka. Thank you, Anna, for that beautiful prayer. 
Our guest speaker tonight is uh, the president of Chandeska Chicana Community College, President Lindquist. And without further ado, I'll have her give her opening. Thank you. We're really glad to see so many families out tonight. Tonight is really an important day. It's a life event. And it's for these little ones. It's not about us. It's really not about the program, except the program is instrumental. Head Start is about child development. Core values as Dakota people is the safety, the protection, the development of our children, of our babies, of our families. And Head Start strives to help in that development and that process. And as a, pro a program for Spirit Lake Dakota, Chandeska Tucson Community College, we do our best to make sure it's culturally relevant. There's language. There's grandmas and grandpas coming in, tell stories to talk Dakota, just to interact with the children, to speak kinship terms, to understand definitions and boundaries and all of that. We're really, really happy when you, the parents, the grandparents, the foster parents, the custodial parent, whoever you are, that you're here because of them. To me, that reflects, again, your commitment that they are protected, that they're safe, that they're happy. And obviously, you can see that. Tonight's about our children and the celebration of what they've accomplished this past year. And we're going to have a wonderful program. I need to publicly tell you all, which I've been telling you now for five years, <laughs> Chandeska Chisna Community College's new Head Start facility, grand opening Wednesday, August 15th. Yes. <laughs> and to coincide with fall school enrollment, um, we're still pushing hard. We've got probably a couple more weeks for finishing on the construction side and Adam before all the official stuff relative to turning it over officially, all that, and everybody blesses it and da da da, whatever. But we are planning for that Wednesday. It will be an open house. Um, parents, particularly, families, if you would like to see it more privately outside of that, let us know. Probably the first part of August is when we're going to really be moving in there. Um, we got a few more finishing touches to do, curbing, paving, fencing, sidewalks, playground equipment, murals, da-da-da, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but by August 15th, it is going to be ready. And it is beautiful. Um, if you haven't been in there, it is huge. It is about 42,000 square feet of space. There's 19 classrooms in that building. There's a commercial kitchen. There's a multi-purpose eating area that overlooks the buffalo pasture. There's a nurse's station. There's offices in quarters or space for faculty, staff, teachers, helpers to have meeting areas, rest areas for themselves in addition to being in the classrooms. Each classroom, there will be two classrooms kind of hooked together, will have its own center with washers and dryers and a few kitchen appliances in that. All brand new. Our children deserve the best because they are our future. They are who we are. So please know and realize this is a project between this little college and the Spirit Lake Dakota Tribal Council, the Spirit Lake Dakota Tribal Nation. We are doing this together for the future of our people, of our community, of our tribe. And, and it's, we're just really, really excited. So please let us know if you have any questions about the opening. Um, obviously, we're going to have some more 
positions <laughs> for when we open over there and that, including security, maintenance, upkeep, you know, the landscaping stuff and all, all of that kind of, in addition to staffing 19 classrooms. So please, if you're interested, especially if you're interested in taking care of children, helping children, early childhood development, consider that. We've got a great program within the college. Um, but we're really, really excited. But this is for you. This is your program, your services. I also want to publicly acknowledge, and I'd like all the Head Start employees to please stand. Tyson, Amy, Valerie, Carrie, Tracy, our parent, our policy council, all of the staff for Head Start, please stand up. Where are you all at? Rob and the nurse, there's Tyson back there, the teachers, Michelin, where are you? Stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, give these people a round of applause. They really care about what they do. They really care about the health, the well-being, the development of your children. And they themselves are doing their best to get better education, better training for all the pieces that we do. I'm really proud and pleased to introduce publicly Carrie Thompson Widmer, the new Head Start director. She's been introduced to you in a couple of other events we've had here. Carrie is an MSW, Masters of Social Work, comes from the New Rockford area, and she's done a lot of different types of social work in this area, this region, and that, and she is really good at what she does. And she also has great empathy, not only for our children and the work we do through Head Start, but also culturally, and understanding that this is a Dakota tribal community, and she works hard to help us make sure that that's incorporated. But I'm really, really proud of the staff of our Head Start program. And, and they go out of their way to make sure it works, that we're meeting the ratios, all of those things we have to be accountable for in that, to make sure your children, again, are safe, being taken care of. Thank you all for coming out tonight. We're gonna have a great program. They've already practiced. They're gonna try to be a little bit quicker than we were last year. We do have supper planned afterwards also. Thank you gentlemen for singing for us and welcoming us in a beautiful Dakota way with the heartbeat of our people. Let's celebrate our children. Mitakiwasi, we're all related. Thank you so much, President Lindquist. Our children will be doing their classroom presentations We'll be going by classroom, and uh, the first up is the Colts Place and Fox Place. So if the lead teachers could please help these kids up onto stage, that would be wonderful. After they give their presentations, we will be awarding their um, their attendance certificates and um, their completion. And we'll be going in order of the children who completed in Head Start, then the children who completed the Head Start program and are receiving an attendance certificate. The attendance certificate required the children to be there 85% uh, of the time, so their, their attendance needed to be 85% or better. I don't know if the children know this yet or not, but the children who have been enrolled in Head Start for 100 days or more since August of 2017 and have a 95% or better attendance rate are receiving a scooter. And those will be available for pickup after the ceremony. Ready? Go.
Thank you, class. That was great. I will be announcing the kids that um, are completing the Head Start program. Quickly, I want to announce that in Colt's place, Kara Kosti, Kosky down here front is the lead teacher. Mackenzie Arns over here on the floor, Let she's the lead Let teacher for Fox Place. Teaching assistant Carol Brown is up here on the stage, as well as um, Boom Chicka Boom graduation available in single song down. Uh, let's see, Mackenzie Arns, we already got you, we already got Carol Brown. We also have Jaylee Azure uh, next to Carol, and then Leslie Young. They are teaching assistants for the classrooms, and their FSA is Roxy Lugsand, and she will be handing the awards out. So the first child for completing is Brantley Jetty. Brantley? The next one is Kaylin Jackson. The next child is Daylene Williams. Mariana Foster. Pierce Langstaff. Victor Rainbow. The children completing the Head Start program and receiving the attendance certificate for Colts Place is Starlet Alberts. Justice Yankton. Avery Lieben.
And Abria Jermo Left Bear, she will be receiving a scooter with a 96% attendance rate. And the children receiving attendance certificates uh, from Colts Place, Kylie Baker, Easton Morin, and Amberlyn Rashad. Out of Fox Place, the children completing the Head Start program is Cassiel Littlewind. Cassiel. Children completing the Head Start program and receiving an attendance certificate, Mia Hayes. And children receiving an attendance certificate, Madison Goodbird, Sean Gord Jr., and Avery Ironheart. The other children will be receiving uh, a gift from the Head Start program. Thank you to the staff of Colts and Fox Place. We really appreciate everything you've done for the kids this year. You've been a wonderful group of people to work with. The next classroom is Kitten's Place, so if the teachers and teaching assistants could help your kids up to the uh, stage, please. While we're waiting for those kids to come to the stage, we do have the Head Start quilt in the back corner of the auditorium if you would like to take pictures with your children afterwards. Um, in front of the quilt, you sure can.
The lead teacher in this classroom is Julie Caspers. The teaching assister, assistant is Patty Hoff and Willanette Goodshot. And their FSA is Savannah. I'm on gonna say this wrong. Is Savannah Jeske. You ready? Graduation, available in single song download by the Learning Station. Congratulations to the graduating class. Before we turn the page to the next stage in our lives, we'd like to sing this song to you. This is a repeat after me song, so make sure you repeat everything I say and do. I said a boom, chicka boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. It's graduation, chicka boom. It's graduation, chicka boom. It's graduation, chicka boom.
Okay, the children completing the Head Start program, Samson Cloud. Chow Kao. Malik Kio. Courage Snell. Engage Walking Eagle. Children completing the Head Start program and receiving an attendance certificate, Aaron Adams. We're receiving a scooter with a 95% attendance rate. Caden Belgard. Kaylana Dufanese, mm -hmm. Juno Longi, and Liliana Robertson. She'll be receiving a scooter with a 99% attendance rate. Good job, Bella. Good job, Bella. The children receiving an attendance certificate, Gary Jetty, <laughs> Micaiah Longi, and Tyler Snell Jr. The other students will be receiving a gift from the program. I believe Joaquin is graduating. Joaquin Chavez.
completing the program. The next center is the Puppies Place. If the teachers and teaching assistants could uh, help the kids to the stage. The lead teacher in that classroom is Michelin Guy with a teaching assistant, Violent Keto, and Sarah DeMars. Their FSA is Megan Charbonneau. That was great. Completing the Head Start program in the Puppies Place, Salone Guy. <laughs> Lachlan Alberts.
Layla Herman. Emery Spotted Horse. Denise Tomahawk. And Angelina Graywin. Children completing the Head Start program and receiving an attendance certificate, Christine Yankton. With a 98% attendance rate, she'll be receiving a scooter. Cooper Thorns, with a 95% attendance rate and a scooter. Francis Sorns, 95% rate with the scooter. Amaya Tomahawk. Children receiving the attendance certificate is Jaden Graywind. Jacob Jetty. <laughs> Paris Swiftbird. Isabella Robertson with a 97% attendance rate and a scooter. All the other children in the classroom will be receiving an, a, a gift from the Head Start program. If Bree Enahos would please come up. Uh, for recognitions. We have some recognitions in um, uh, the Head Start program. She is the uh, FSA coordinator. Thank you, Valerie. Oh my gosh, I'm really nervous. <sighs> Breathe. You don't have Okay, my name is Bree Nohos. For those that don't know me, I'm the Family Services Coordinator. Uh, myself, along with the other Family Service staff, the Family Service Advocates, Megan, Savannah, and Roxy, we work closely with Head Start families to identify needs, to um, refer them to community services, and also to set goals for the families. With that being said, we'd like to uh, recognize some, some mothers that um, achieved their their goals, we have two mothers that received their GED during the school year. We also have a mother that um, received her master's degree in tribal administration. So if they're here, if they could please stand. We have Alana Brownshield. She received her GED. <laughs> Felicia White Buffalo, if you could stand. And for the mother that received her master's degree in tribal administration, June Gord. I would also like to take this time to recognize two of the Head Start staff members that became class certified observers during this school year. Audra Poitra, she's in the back. Raise your hand, please. And Kara the Peach Kosky.
Last but definitely not least, um, I would like to recognize the Policy Council. We have two of the members here on stage, Darcy DeLorme and Tracy Charbonneau. The, the other policy members that could not be here, Kim Fox, Lori McKay, and I think that's it. So thank you to the Policy Council. Thank you for coming and joining us with this celebration. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bree. Again, thank you so much for attending our celebration ceremony. Uh, I know the kids um, really appreciate it. Uh, we here at Head Start, speaking for Carrie and the administrative staff, really appreciate all your support and your effort to get your kids to school and investing in their education by sending them to Head Start. That is the conclusion of our celebration ceremony. As President Lindquist said, we are having a meal afterwards, um, and we will conclude with the um, honor song. <laughs>